Hello everyone, this is John, Data Science Career Transition Expert. Welcome you all to this uh, another video on this particular Hacker Rank related series. So in the last video, we have seen about what is this Hacker Rank. Hacker Rank is nothing but a bridge between data science learner and a hiring manager. So now I think that I believe that you all signed up to this particular uh, Hacker Rank and you are already logged into this particular Hacker Rank. So now we have seen in the particular dashboard that there are different topics that we can prepare. So as a data science learner, so that is if you wanted to get into Hacker Rank, you should be at least knowing the fundamentals of Python programming and to intermediate level. So you should be good in this particular part. So now, once you get into this particular Hacker Rank, once you click on Python, so this is how this particular uh, page will look like. The left hand side, you are able to see different problem statement, EC level and uh, different levels of problem statement here you're able to see. So in order to quickly solve this or get a good rank, so what you can do on the right hand side, you're able to see the skill section. What you can do is click on this check, enable this Python basic checkbox first point and click on this EC level difficulty medium, uh, sorry, uh, EC in the difficulty section and introduction. Okay, introduction. So when you click on this box, so you will get list of problem statements here, where is, which is matching this particular condition like arithmetic operators, Python division, loops, print function. So now, what exactly it is nothing but see some basic problem statement you can try to solve. So if you click on this particular, mm, let me click on maybe any particular function here, maybe let's say a print function. I'm just clicking on the solve problem. See this. So here in the left hand side, this is how the page will look like. In the left hand side, you're able to see this problem, submissions, leadership board, discussion section, editorial section, and tutorials, tutorial section. So left hand side, you're able to see the uh, complete problem statement in detail that that is the included code uh, stuff will read an integer from standard std ins nothing but standard input and uh, note that uh, quotation represents consecutive values in between um, values in between example n is equal to 5 print the string 1 2 3 4 input format the first line contains an uh, integer n so constraints are 1 to 150 print the list of integers from 1 through n as string so what is the sample input sample in input it should be 3 output it should be like 1 2 3 so for this particular uh, See, it is very clear that is, if I'm just uh, giving a number 5, I should print numbers from 1 to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it should print. So for that, I have to write a logic here. So what is this logic? I'll be writing in the next uh, particular uh, video. But here, what is it something I wanted to tell you is nothing but. So here you're able to see the problem statement. Right hand side is nothing but where you can just click on this. There are different like py, py 3 that is one kind of uh, Python programming language and Python 3 that is another kind of programming language. In case if you want to delete this completely, write it from the scratch, you can write it from your scratch. Okay, so that is not going to be a problem. Okay, here you can write it and once you write the particular script, see this, I'm just uh, writing some dummy lines and then if you need to come down and click on this run code. Okay, so if you click on this run code here, you're able to see processing. So processing meaning it is taking some time. Do not click on submit code. First click on run code to see whether the script, whatever that you have written, it is correct or wrong. See this, it is getting processed. So it is seeing that runtime error, right? Sample test code zero, runtime error, what is the error and everything. So here you're able to see. So now here you should get green color button or green color, uh, like it, it will say pass. Okay, once it is passed, then you have to click on submit code so that once you click on your submit code, so this challenge is completed. So if this challenge is completed, here you'll get a button, go to the next challenge. So like this, you have to start from the scratch. Okay, solving from the easy level, then you're going to uh, medium level, hard level. So in this way, daily you have to solve five different problem statements. So now uh, in the next upcoming videos, what is my plan is, so to give you the solution, I will come here and I will work in front of you by picking one problem statement, how we can solve in this particular hacker rank itself. And I'll be posting that to you in the next upcoming videos. So stay tuned with this per respect to this particular channel and this hacker rank series so that we all work to work along and make sure we will all build a great portfolio in this hacker rank and make sure uh, our visibility will be increased. Meaning see this um, here, if you click on this leadership board, okay, there are a lot of people here, if you see, Marcus Andrews, so he's uh, rank one. Uh, so this keeps on changing, all right? So maybe 
uh, this person Mugundan rank number one and score is 220. So here you're able to, so maybe you can also come here. So in case if you get a good point, see this for this particular level, you will also earn a batch here. All right, you will earn a batch. So here, if you look, if you look onto this particular top right, if you click on this, let's say my profile, if I'm clicking on this, and it's getting loaded, see this, you have not unlocked any batches, verified skills, nothing. So here I'm able to see, one minute, yeah. Here I'm able to see how many years of education. I have not written anything here. So what exactly here it is required is, here you have to come back and you have to add your work experience, educational details. So see this, and also this is very important, this color, this one, uh, because if I'm clicking on this, May, uh, in May 22nd, I've uploaded, I've worked on one file, and um, uh, May 25th, I worked on one other file. If you're working on this on a regular basis, so here you'll continuously get a low color button. So when somebody, so this is my, this ID, all right, this is nothing but my hacker rank link. So I can copy this, I can send it to you. So maybe anybody who's seeing this particular dashboard, they can see that, okay, this if, if everything, if it is in yellow color, it means that, okay, you are regularly working on this hacker rank. So maybe if somebody is coming and hiring you, they will get to see this. Okay, this person is very much active in hacker rank. He's good in coding part. That's what the impression that you are giving to the recruiters. So you are giving good impression to the recruiters. So they will come and they will try to give another challenge to you in the hacker rank. If you solve it, they are going to select you. So now, how to solve and what are all the things to solve, I will be uh, teaching you in the next videos. So, but I think uh, this particular uh, content helped you to understand how to use hacker rank more effectively. So the point is click on Python basic and then easy in the difficulty section and um, uh, and what are the topics in that last section? I've also selected one particular topic, right? Uh, what is the beginner? Maybe let me just go back quickly and let me show that to you. So here I just went and uh, clicked on. Yeah, easy difficulty level is easy. Subdomains is introduction part, right? So and here I just clicked on Python basic. Make sure you follow along and complete this particular task. And once it is completed, then click on basic data types and then try to solve this particular challenge and then strings so like this basic easy and solve all these things whatever it is mentioned right hand side and then click on medium uh, uncheck this click on medium and then solve this in this way you can move step by step and make sure you can solve this and at the end of the day you will have a great reward points here and also your rank also it will be increased okay so in this way we can make a great hacker rank portfolio ready so I hope this video helped you in order to know how to make use of this particular hacker rank and increase your visibility so that you can improve your coding knowledge. And also, I think you got to know how recruiters will see your particular portfolio in hacker rank in order to reach you out. So this is what something I thought of uh, discussing in this particular video. In the next video, I will come here and I will be picking up this one particular problem statement and I'll be working in front of you so that you can also try to work along with me and make sure you also practice it and we all uh, make sure to travel each other and help each other to grow effectively in case if i'm uh, making some kind of uh, long kind of scripts you can also try to post the right scripts in the comment section so that we can learn uh, better together all right thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video was helpful to you if you like it you can just hit a, a like button on this and you can share with your friends as well thank you so much have a good day bye now